Matthew 23 verses 1 to 12. Then Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, The teachers of religious law and the Pharisees are the official interpreters of the law of Moses. So practice and obey whatever they tell you, but don't follow their example. For they don't practice what they teach. They crush people with unbearable religious demands and never lift a finger to ease the burden. Everything they do is for show. On their arms they wear extra wide prayer boxes with scripture verses inside, and they wear robes with extra long tassels. And they love to sit at the head table at banquets and in the seats of honor in the synagogues. They love to receive respectful greetings as they walk in the marketplaces, and to be called Rabbi. Don't let anyone call you, Rabbi, for you have only one teacher, and all of you are equal as brothers and sisters. And don't address anyone here on earth as, Father, for only God in heaven is your Father. And don't let anyone call you, Teacher, for you have only one teacher, the Messiah. The greatest among you must be a servant. But those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. In this passage, Jesus confronts the religious leaders of his time, warning the crowds and his disciples against following their hypocritical example. While acknowledging the authority of the teachers of religious law and the Pharisees as interpreters of the law of Moses, Jesus exposes their hypocrisy. He condemns their outward display of piety and religious observance, which serves only to elevate themselves in the eyes of others while neglecting the weightier matters of justice, mercy, and faithfulness. Jesus contrasts the self-serving attitudes of the religious leaders with the true heart of discipleship. He teaches that greatness in the kingdom of God is not measured by titles, positions of honor, or outward displays of religious fervor. Instead, true greatness is demonstrated through humble service and genuine obedience to God's commands. Jesus calls his followers to reject the pursuit of status and recognition and instead embrace a posture of humility and servanthood. Actions to take. Examine your heart. Reflect on your motives and attitudes in your religious practices and interactions with others. Ask yourself whether your actions are driven by a desire for recognition or by genuine love and devotion to God and others. Prioritize humility. Strive to cultivate a spirit of humility in all areas of your life. Seek opportunities to serve others without seeking recognition or reward, following the example of Jesus who came not to be served but to serve. Focus on the heart. Remember that true righteousness is not merely external adherence to religious rituals but a matter of the heart. Prioritize justice, mercy, and faithfulness in your relationships and actions, seeking to honor God in all that you do. May we humbly follow the example of Jesus, rejecting the pursuit of status and recognition, and instead embracing a life of humble service and obedience to God. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.